The Republican nominee, of course, is a young man, but his approach is as old as McKinley. His party is the party of the past, the party of memory. You read me off it. You read me off it. You read me off it. But neither can two great and powerful groups of nations take comfort from our present course. Both sides overburdened by the cost of modern weapons, both rightly alarmed by the steady spread of the deadly atom. The slow undoing of those human rights to which this nation has always been committed and to which we are committed today at home and around the world. We have proposed the elimination of all arms and military bases in a fair and effective disarmament treaty. We are prepared to discuss new proposals. Any hostile move anywhere in the world against the safety and freedom of peoples to whom we are committed including in particular the brave people of West Berlin, will be met by whatever action is needed. I got the leadership coming back at five this afternoon. Then we begin this uh, uh, blockade. Then uh, we'll continue the surveillance. That I do not intend to permit to the extent that it's in my control. And no official of my administration, whether his rank is high or low, civilian or military, should interpret my words here tonight as an excuse to censor the news to stifle dissent. Send him down below ship. Send him down below ship. Send him down below ship. Vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Here I fill him. Here I fill him. Here I fill him. There is no escaping either the gravity or the totality of its challenge to our survival and to our security. Albus House. Albus House. Albus House. 